Hello and welcome back. Today we are in lesson 33 of our Free Code Camps HTML and CSS section. This challenge is create a set of checkboxes. Forms commonly use checkboxes for questions that may have more than one answer. Checkboxes are a type of input. Each of your checkboxes should be nested within its own label element. All related checkbox inputs should have the same name attribute. Here's an example of a checkbox. So we have a label. Inside our label we have input of type checkbox. And we name it personality. So add to your form a set of three checkboxes. Each checkbox should be nested within its own label. All three should share the name attribute of personality. So we come over here, go to the bottom here. So it says add to your form. We have a form here. So to our form, they want us to add three checkboxes. Each checkbox should be nested within its own label. So I'm going to just put it under the ones we already created. And then I'm going to create three labels. Here's one. And we can do two and three. <clears throat> so that's the first thing it says add to your form a set of three checkboxes so each checkbox should be nested within its own loop so our checkbox is a type of input so inside of our label we're going to put input of type check box Okay, so those are input and they are self closing. Oh, let's not forget our name of personality. And they are self closing, so let's just close that. So we did our first one, and let's see what that looks like. Move me up here. I think that's good. So we have this little box here. We need to do three of them. So let's just take this, copy it, control C, and go into our label and paste it in there. And then go to our next label and paste it in there. So now we have, now we should have three. Yep, you can see we have three little check boxes. And they all have the name of personality. So your page should have three checkbox elements, which it does. Each of your three elements should be nested in its own label element. They each have their own label element. This one's inside of this label element. This input is in this label, and this input is in this label. And then give your checkboxes the name attribute of personality, and they all have this name attribute of personality and that should satisfy this okay 